Hi everybody in the comic book community. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everyone's looking forward to um, opening of restaurants and stores and other places. Today we're going to just look at war comics um, from the Silver Age. I've also changed the background a little bit to show some original Dick Dillon Justice League of America art pages from the late 1970s. I don't own many uh, original art, um, but I just uh, thought it'd be a change of pace to change the background a bit. And these are uh, these covers I'm showing now. Um, they weren't done uh, by Joe Kubert, who's um, very well known for his uh, 70s and 80s, even um, 60s uh, DC war comics. Uh, these are in no particular order. I'm just showing you. Uh, a stack of books I have. I don't really have any long runs of war comics. I think I do have a complete run of um, Men of War. Uh, that was a Bronze Age 18 issue run. That's not difficult to get a full run. But uh, for war comics, I just have uh, just random uh, issues. And in the future, I'll get my um, Golden Age war comics together and I'll uh, post those too. But it doesn't seem like um, most channels, most comic book channels are geared more towards superheroes. Which is fine, that's the most popular genre. These comics I'm showing you should all have either 10 cents, 12 cents, or even a, a few 15 cents uh, from the early 70s. There's Attila the Hun there. GI Combat, more GI Combat with the uh, Hunted Tank. That's a Joe Kubert cover. And here's another Joe Kubert cover. Uh, what I noticed about Joe Kubert, I, I, when I first saw his art, I didn't really think it was that great. But over time, you get uh, accustomed to it and you enjoy it more. But a lot of times, he would draw things that you would expect to have a straight edge, but he draws it uh, by hand. Like, like maybe this probably would have been straight edge or something, but it looks like it's drawn by hand. And a lot of time, I think on the um, on the weapons, he most of the time, uh, not most of the time, but a lot of times he doesn't use um, the straight edge. He just draw by hand also. That's uh, actually uh, or Fighting Forces number ninety four. Uh, it's kind of faded there. That's like. Um, a lot of wear in that area. I don't think that's a Joe Kubert cover. I, I, this doesn't look like a Joe Kubert cover either, but it looks like it was drawn in kind of the cube, Joe Kubert um, kind of sketchy way. Here's the losers. 
they had that movie about the losers. I'm not sure it was based on the same characters. I thought it may have been. Um, but when I checked, I don't think it was um, the same uh, characters. I could be wrong on that. It's been a while since I saw that movie. If you look at like uh, start, um, the face, uh, Joe Kubert has a way of drawing um, like rough faces and whiskers and stuff. That's very uh, a good example of it. This, uh, the background might be symbolic. <clears throat> it's kind of uh, pinkish red. You know, skies aren't. Uh, maybe it's a uh, symbolism of you know bloodshed. Here, the sky is uh, blue, like we normally expect. So that's the last of the uh, DC books. Um, I'll be showing for this uh, video. And here's some more. There's some charts here. This is War and Attack. I didn't look up the number of four, but uh, a lot of these charts you have to look inside to get the number. There's another uh, person who did um, a history of charting comics. I'll post it in a link, um, the video. But it seems like th the days of Charlton, they were really underpaid their um, their creators. And they were just churning out um, pages and artwork and writing uh, just to you know um, make uh, money. And maybe that's the reason Charlton Comics uh, don't have the prestige as uh, DC and Marvel. Okay, this is the only Dell one I have. It's number 20. The note says it's a loose centerfold. Combat number 20. Back to uh, Charlton here. This one's in a pretty rough shape. The only Ajax books I have in the showing. Fighting five number thirty seven from nineteen sixty six pretty rough shape. I uh, I looked at the um, the bag and board and this is uh, the bags and boards I bought uh, about two decades ago. So this has probably been in this bag and board for two decades. And lastly, we have um, fighting five number forty. This is the uh, first appearance of the peacemaker. Uh, I heard he's going to be a character maybe in, in a movie, maybe uh, one of the DC movies. Thank you for watching. I um, hope to bring some more videos, maybe bring some uh, more war videos. I have uh, my, uh, my collecting habits are pretty broad. I don't uh, collect, you know, just superheroes. I also collect um, war, um, romance. Uh, not so big on funny animals, but I do like certain funny animal books. I'll bring those um, 
find those in the boxes and um, show them to you. Thank you.